Oh, Hashem. So today, with the help of Hashem, we're going to speak about something very interesting that many people are questioning, which is what happened in the scene of Adam Arishon. What actually, what actually happened there? What was the state of Adam Arishon before the scene, and what changed after after the scene? So, first of all. We understand with all of the all of what we know from the Zohar, the Arizal, and many other sources that we went through and we spoke about that Adam Rishon before the sin is gathering within himself all of the parts of all of the spiritual worlds, and there's many 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 powers that Hashem implanted within Adam, right? <coughs> One of those powers, which is very, very dominant within our being, is the power of choice. Yeah? Adam have the power of choice. We also have the power of choice. We are the children of Adam. So, what does it mean, choice? Right? What is the free choice? There's many people that are asking this question. Do we have free choice? We don't have free choice. We spoke about it many times. It's never enough because there's always uh, more and more uh, questions about this point. Now, the simple understanding of free choice, simple understanding, is that it is the freedom to choose between the good or the opposite. Now, if you take, for example, uh, let, let's take a, like a very, very extreme example. Yeah, You take a drug, drug addict or alcoholist and, and you, have, you put in front of them the, the drug or the alcohol, whatever they are addicted for, and you ask them, like, choose to take it or not to take it. Is that called a free choice? Someone that is addict to something and, you, and it's in front of him, it's not a really a free choice. Theoretically, you can say that you have a free choice, but it, it's, it's much, dif, much more difficult for him to choose not to take it. To, to choose, yeah, to choose not to take it is much more difficult. It's much easier for him to take it, right? So, we are all addicts of many, many different things within our life, within our... Uh, reality, the way that we, cast, we are accustomed to, to live our life. The, all of the bad habits, all of all, all kinds of, of uh, different things. So, how much freedom do we really have? Okay? So now let's go back to Adam Rishon. Adam Rishon, he had a free choice. Okay? Why he had a free choice? Because the, before the scene, he could choose not to make a scene. He was not an addict. Yeah, he didn't have the addiction to the to the evil. He had a free choice. Yeah, like someone that is not an addict and he have a drug in front of him, so he can choose take it or not take it. Right? When someone is not an addict, so then you can say that he have a free choice. Now, <clears throat> after, so what happened in the scene? Okay, and forget about the story with the apple and all of that. That's not, uh, that's not our school. Okay. Adam, when he did the scene, the, the, the evilness became to be a garment of his being. Okay. It's not didn't become to be part of him. The soul, the neshama is tehorah. Neshama, there's no, there's, no, there's no evil in the Neshama. Neshama is a But the garments of the Neshama can be impure. And this is the situation. Okay? This is, this is the situation that happened because of the sin. And this is the, the reason that it is very difficult for all, all of humanity to go out of that situation. Yeah, to let go of all of the all of the all of the lust and desires and all kinds of uh, negative effect of all kinds of negative things, 
is because that after the sin of Adam Arishon, we have these dirty garments, okay? The Zohar calls that the, the Zohamat HaNachash, the dirtiness of the snake. Yeah? And, okay, that's something that, that it's, not, it's not in one class to explain all of that. It's a big subject matter. And we will discuss it, Bezrat Hashem, uh, through the week. But to make, to, make, to make the point for today, what I want to, to make clear is that there is a possibility to clean those garments. Yeah? There is a possibility of doing tikkun for the sin of Adam Rishon. And we know that in, when Am Israel was standing on Har Sinai, so it says, Paskazo Amatan, the dirtiness of the snake stopped. After they did the Cheta Egel, the golden calf, calf, so unfortunately the dirtiness came back again. Okay? But there is a possibility with the power of the Torah, yeah, the, the spiritual light that Hashem implanted within the Torah, is able to do tikkun for the dirtiness of the, of the snake that is enclosing our, our Neshama. Okay? And this is the deep meaning of what Chazal is saying, Barati Yetzerara, Barati Lot Torah Tavlin. The creation of the Yetzerara, the evil incarnation, is, is those garments. Yeah, those garments, those dirty garments of, this, of the Neshama, is what? Is the Yetzerara. Yeah, the Yetzerara is, is making us to believe as if he is part of us. Yeah? But the truth is, is not part of us. Who am I? I am the I am the neshama. I am the soul. That is pure. There is yetzerah that is surrounding us, surrounding me. Yeah. So, if we are practicing the Torah in the right way, what happens? We are bringing the light of Hashem into our neshama, and then this is pushing away the darkness of the yetzerah. So it is purifying the character, right? Well, this is the, the meaning of Tikkun Amidot. What is Tikkun Amidot? The whole idea of Musar. What is Tikkun Amidot? The, those characters, those garments of the Neshama, this is the Midot. Yeah? So when we are, bring, we are bringing the light of the Torah into our Neshama, we are practicing the Torah. So the light of the Torah is pushing out the darkness of the etzara, of those garments. So then this is giving us the possibility to do the tikkun for Adam Rishon. And this is what happened for Am Israel when they were in Har Sinai. And Bezrat Hashem, it will happen to all of us in the very, very high levels very, very soon. Because we know that part of the redemption that we are waiting for is is the revelation of the light. So what will be the meaning of that? When the light comes, what does it mean? It means that there's more strength to push away all of the darkness, to, pu to pu purify the garments of our soul. Does that also purify, uh, like push away the, the tumma, like when we, yeah, 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 exactly. especially the outside tumma that's in the world? Yeah. Everything, the, the, the singular and the plural is parallel. Uh -huh. What happens to a singular person within his being, is the same thing that happens to the whole world. Uh. Everything is parallel. So the same thing that we said about a singular person, the same thing is also for the whole world. And Bezrat Hashem, that's what's going to be, that's what we're going to see Bezrat Hashem very, very soon. Mm. So Bezrat Hashem, we will continue this uh, tomorrow and the next days of the week Bezrat Hashem. And for the meantime, I will finish with a blessing for everybody, for myself and everybody included that Hashem will help us to connect to the Torah in the right way and to connect to the, to the light of Hashem that is within the Torah, that our Neshama will be able to receive that light and that Hashem will give us the right way how to use the, the light of the Torah, that it will purify the garments of our Neshama, that the light of the Neshama will be able to shine out and Bezrat Hashem, we will all be able to enjoy everybody's light together and to connect to the light of Hashem, Bezrat Hashem. Amen. Amen.